YouTube series. Uh, today's vlog is gonna be a weekend vlog which will spill into a new week because today is Monday. Yes, today is Monday. So happy new week to each and every one of you. For those who have been with me since, since then, since those days when we started this channel. Let me take this moment to appreciate you all. God bless you for walking through this journey with me. For those who haven't subscribed yet, if it's your first time stopping by, kindly do remember to subscribe and join us at the end of this video. Hope you enjoy watching this vlog and also you learn something from it. Enjoy! temperatures currently in Ukampani. My God. Sema Joto. It is hot. Extremely hot. Like, if you don't like water, this time round, you can't help it. You just have to befriend your bottle of water. Otherwise, you're not going to survive this heat. It is too much. It is too much. Oh, you need the water. You need the water. So, hey, this time round, I've made working with this bottle like a routine. I make sure that it is somewhere close to me as I run around in the house. And even when I'm leaving the house, I ensure that I carry some water with me because the temperatures, they are too high. And again, with these hard economic times, you can't be purchasing water like everywhere you go. You know, some financial, financial mathematics. You need to save, eh? You need to save. So if you have drinking water in the house, why should you go around purchasing water when you have... Uh, just purchase a bottle and make sure that you pack some water before you leave the house. As simple as that. So it's Sunday evening. It's around 4.30 p.m. in the evening. I'm, I'm just chilling in the house. Since I'm not leaving the house, what I normally do on Sunday's evening if I'm not leaving the house, I love tuning to these... Um, program on a citizen radio called uh, it's a Swahili Tarab music show hosted by this amazing lady called uh, Melon Me Me Melo hey Melody Sinzore I really really love her vibe a Swahili vibe her originality just the way she goes around everything so I love tuning to her show, I listen to it, I enjoy it. That's what I normally do when I'm not leaving the house on Saturday, not Saturday, on Sunday evenings. That's what I'm about to do right now. Can we just talk about the current uh, state of affairs in our country? Because things are thick and everyone is affected like you can no longer hide it it's clearly evident that every kenyan is struggling to survive the other day i went to the market and i was really shocked i asked a lady who was selling some uh, some lemons how much she was selling the lemons and can you imagine guys like the size was not it was medium not even medium size let me not be too diplomatic they were small, like very small in size. Like two of them, lemons, they were going for 20 shillings. And that was inside, inside the big market where you're expecting to get food stuffs at a, at a lower price. Guys, I was really shocked. How are you people surviving? Because, hey, this is too much of foodstuffs the prices are up there fuel prices hey that one don't even go there because personally i do not have a car so it is not affecting me but i feel for those people who have cars because hey, the prices have skyrocketed they are up there 
So, I don't know how you guys have been surviving. Uh, have you been forced to revise down your budget? Like these days, you have cut on your... Do we even, do we even have ent entertainment budget these days? Because personally, I don't have. Let me just be sincere with you guys. Like, the economy is just like this on my back, on my head. These days, I scrapped off entertainment budget because... I can't afford for now yes I can't I have to be sincere with myself I have to face the bull by its own otherwise it's going to affect me and I'm not ready to suffer I'm not ready to put myself in a situation which I cannot manage you know adulting comes with, with responsibilities and uh, when you're an adult upon you to plan for the little you have to make sure that it, it sustains you so that's what i'm currently doing i don't know how you people are surviving maybe you can share in the comment section how you've been able to adjust to this hard economic situation how it has affected your your normal daily lives whether you have had to forego some stuff whether you have had to like uh cut down on some things like generally what are your survival tactics currently let's help each other oh, leave a comment in the comment section let's help each other how are we how are we surviving in this country because hi my people we know is you things are tough truth be told things are really tough Hello. Asikwambie mtu wezi jamani fanya juhudi za kwako manake hard work will eventually pay off jitume kabisa my brother my sister aminia mungu yupo believe in him he never disappoints good morning everyone today is monday it's a new day another chance another opportunity to keep chasing our dreams so as i chase my dreams make sure that you're chasing yours because if you dream and you don't act your dreams will never be realized so yes it's monday morning i've just woken up i'm not going to work today because today is a national holiday here in kenya we are celebrating utamaduni day utamaduni means uh culture so basically today we are celebrating different diverse cultures uh, here in Kenya so happy Utamaduni day to all Kenyans across this country and also across the world because this is a global channel so yeah today I'll be indoors maybe I must take out later but currently I just want to reorganize by my space because I really want to come up with with a, a filming space I do not have one guys I really struggle when sometimes I can be in a mode of uh, recording some videos but I'm like uh -huh, where where am I going to to record from because the lighting in my space currently is not that good and my space is also small it's a challenge to me so today I just want to work around it see what I can do, what I can put where, and at least try to come up with some, some filming space because yes, we have to be consistent in this channel. Which reminds me, please, if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Do consider joining us. Click on the extreme right side of the screen. Subscribe to this channel and like this video share it also and encourage more people to join us because well this is a journey we keep getting better every day so don't miss out on the journey began with eva youtube series ensure that you are a member ensure that you are a subscriber and keep spreading the word <laughs>
after passing through the market i shopped a little groceries then i passed by best lady branch in my tacos to purchase this soap i don't know whether you guys can see that this dudu osun black soap has worked magic on my face i then called for that lady who introduced me to this soap because she noticed that my skin was needy let me use that term needy so i have been using this soap for a while now and the change is noticeable like you can tell that my face has really improved because my skin is really sensitive very problematic breakouts blackheads but this soap has really helped me to manage that situation so if you haven't used it and you have very sensitive skin maybe i'd advise you to try this uh dudu osun black soap it's originally from nigeria hello to all nigerians in the building yes back here in kenya we use this uh dudu osun black soap and we really love it too we really really love it too it works magic let me just open it for you guys because i'm i'm going to start using it tonight since the one i ate is finished this is how it looks like this is our packaging you can see that it is wrapped nicely it is wrapped nicely in this uh polythene is it polythene or plastic bag this is how it looks like you see the packaging is done nicely you can see it's even branded inside i don't know whether you guys can see that you can read the door soon from that side then um the smell is just mild the smell is just a uh, mild smell it's not so loud so yeah that's it this is it so if you live around machakos and you haven't visited this lady you've been missing out to you have been missing out this lady is your one-stop shop for your beauty products your hair products they have variety at very reasonable prices well this video is not sponsored but i just like sharing and talking about stuff which i like so yeah this lady someone is really doing some good background work for you guys so hope one day you'll notice and uh you know support what i'm doing if you have sensitive skin maybe you can give this dudu osun a trial I know we are different but you can try it out you can try it out uh it has a uh, pure and natural ingredients it's suitable for all skin types dermatologically uh, tested so it's a it's a good thing it's worth trying let me just say that it's worth trying if your skin is problematic like mine <laughs> i'm trying to do unboxing for you guys you know i need to start learning these things because this brand is growing eh? this brand is growing day by day so i officially introduce you to the dudu osun black soap well <laughs> leave a comment down below in the comment section rate my unboxing skills because you know it's always nice hearing from you guys you know every day is a learning day i really need to learn how to do this unboxing stuff because i foresee this journey began with eva family is gonna grow especially from next year it's gonna be mega so if you haven't subscribed you better subscribe and join this amazing amazing family